video and if you're new here hi how did you get here for all those that are new here hi my name is gracia i make content on trying out different foods vlogs self-improvement videos like this one that you're watching right now hi <laughs> sis and um, a lot of other fun things that I'm still going to get to because my channel is still new. So in today's video, as you've read from the title, I'll be talking about things that I wish I knew before varsity. I had put out this question on Instagram. I asked you guys, what are some of the things that you wish you knew before varsity? And things that I've listed here are not just my own opinions but the opinions of many others as well so I have like 11 things listed here I don't want the video to be too long so I'm gonna be splitting it into two it's gonna be two segments all right without further ado let's just get into the video they're not gonna be listed in any order it's just Jay mix masala everything is just going all right I'm just gonna be flowing okay tip number one it's okay to fail because in varsity, like a lot of people that come fresh off the boat, where in high school you used to receive straight A's, you were the top of the class and all that, marks might drop. You won't get the marks that you expected or the marks that you anticipated. And that's okay because nobody really talks about how hard it is in varsity. Okay, they just tell you, oh no, varsity is a lot of work. Yeah, but it's hard. So when you don't get those marks that you actually plan to get, it's okay. Use that as a way to redeem yourself, to encourage yourself to do better, you know? Use it as a crush to push yourself to do better, to improve. And even if you fail, there's a lot of opportunities that varsities offer for you to redeem yourself. Resubmission, or you rewrite your test and all those things, or you get a tutorers, or you get extra recordings or extra work that is given to you so that you can actually understand this thing. One thing that people don't understand is that in varsity, they don't want you to fail. Schools don't want you to fail. If that was the whole MO of schools, you think people will be sending their children there. Schools want you to excel. They always provide opportunities that, okay, if you find yourself in the gutter, we're gonna give you a ladder. We're not gonna pull you up. We'll give you a ladder. We're not gonna use your muscles and lift yourself up climb out of that gutter you know what i mean so you should find the things that you could do at school to get extra credits and so on and so forth but at the same time there's also other people like myself who in varsity you will be excelling with flying colors you know back in high school maybe you were mediocre here and there but in varsity if you get the work like you understand the content the thing your marks will be flying so it's both ways your marks could drop and your marks could increase. So that just depends on the person and it depends on your study skills and how you manage yourself, okay? So don't be stressing if for the first two tests you didn't do well, don't stress, it happens. Literally, it happens to everybody. That is just a way the universe is telling you, hey, you pick this course, you gotta pick up your socks and you gotta work, all right? Great. The second one is master your study skills. And it ties in with the first tip because if you did a test and you didn't get the marks that you wanted, then now you're gonna take a step back and say, okay, I did X, Y, Z and this were the results. Let me change my study method. Or I was studying in the chambre. You know that you're not supposed to study in the chambre because obviously you're gonna fall asleep. So instead, let me change my environment. Let me go study in the living room. Attend as many classes as you possibly can in the beginning. That way you could, you know, grasp the content and have an understanding and knowledge of the module. Then maybe down the line you can decide, okay, this lecture is not doing it for me. I'd rather go to this lecture or I'd rather do things this way and that way instead of bunking and flunking in the first five weeks. And then when it's time to actually write exams and you start to stress and you start to stress out your lecturers and all those things. All right. You will either lose weight or you gain weight. This tip is for, more for people who are body conscious. When you're in varsity, there's a lot of work that has to be done. There's a lot of stress and anxiety. And in turn, you end up eating a lot. Some people eat a lot when they're stressed out. And for example, if you're staying at a place, you're cooking at your own time, you're cooking for yourself, you've got all the money, you are just buying, buying, spending, spending, you are eating, eating, eating whenever you want. And that now it contributes to you gaining weight. And also on the other side, you could be stressing, anxiety and all that, and now you don't eat. So you end up what? Losing weight. 
for people also that are in rest maybe you knock off at school really late you tired by the time you get back you're too tired to even cook you sleep like that you just eat two slices of bread for the last three days and you're losing weight so if you're body conscious just know that this could happen you could either lose or you could eat again it's your own journey, so run it at your own pace. Don't compare yourself to other kids. Like in varsity, you will see people coming in the fanciest of clothes, nice shoes that you just saw came out last week. Not even last week, yesterday. They ordered it online. People are driving posh cars and all that. Don't compare yourself to other people because you don't know what they're going through. And also, if you see, oh, so and so, Spono no Yena, she is already on learning unit three, Maramina. I'm still on learning unit one and I'm still in the first section. You don't know who Spono lives with at home. You don't know if they have extra resources that are, are given to them, if they're getting help. You don't know what people go through, so you can't compare yourself to others. Everybody is on their own journey. Everybody is here to do their own thing, right? It's like going to the gym. You see somebody with a six pack and they've been working out for six months. Now you're like, yeah, no, by the end of next week, I'm also going to have that six pack. But you've never lifted even a dumbbell and you expect yourself to get a six pack. And don't put pressure on yourself, but rather keep working and keep pushing. Right. The next tip is it's very important to have a support system. Guys, I can't stress this enough because varsity itself is already stressful, okay? There's a lot of deadlines you have to meet, there's a lot of work you have to do, and plus you must balance social life, you must balance sports, you must balance academics, you must balance a whole lot of things. Obviously, people are going to break down, you know? We talk about mental health and we learn about it in school. In varsity, you actually see this, okay? You see people depressed or you end up being the one that is experiencing it. So that's why it's important to have a support system, whether that is your friends, your counselors, your lecturers, anybody that you can go to and talk to when you have problems and you feel like you can't handle it alone. Go on to them and talk to them, you know, ask for their help, ask for advice, you know. You need to take care, take care of your emotional health. Guys, there are people out there who actually want to help you. There's lecturers who actually tell people you can come to me when you are in need of help. This shows that you are not alone. You can go to them, ask them to help you, talk to them. Don't be afraid to ask for help. That is our problem of today. We have this whole independence, yada, yada, yada. We don't want to ask for help. It's their job. They want to help you. So just allow yourself to receive. Okay, just say, I receive. Say with me. I receive. Take advantage of this opportunity and actually go out to them and speak to them. And everything is confidential. They don't share your information. They don't share stories. They are not songi songis like us. You hear, hear, you take there. You hear, hear, you take there. All right. So the last one for part one is stay true to yourself. When you come to varsity, you will meet people of different backgrounds, people of different beliefs, people that think in different ways. You shouldn't try and change yourself to fit in the crowd, you know what I mean? You should remain true to yourself and who you are. Because imagine if Rihanna was going to our campus and we were all amazed by her and all decided to be Rihanna's, then there won't be any uniqueness and any difference. We'll all just be bland and uniform. So rather, remember who you are and stay true to that person, you know? It doesn't just only make you unique, but it also helps you stand out. If a certain crowd of people does not like you or you don't click with them, leave them. That is not your crowd. That is not for you. There are a lot of people in varsity. Trust me, you will find your kind. If your skin is itching you and you're with those people, leave them. Leave them and go find a group that is for you. One thing that I really appreciate are people that are true to themselves. They're not two-faced. What they show you here is what they're going to show you there. So be unique and stay true to yourself. So that sums up the first segment of this video. Please, please, please guys go ahead and watch part two so that you could have the full experience or the full advice from Auntie J, Miss Matt, all right? So yeah, thank you so much for watching this short video. Go ahead and watch the next one, go. You better, you better not, uh, I'm talking to you. <laughs> 
wait before you go don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell as well so that you're notified anytime i post a video and go ahead and follow me on my socials on tiktok and instagram i interact a lot with you guys on instagram and i make a lot of videos on tiktok as well thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and watch part two go go just go just go just go go go